let me prepare you know you have to i have to have the nice opening let me prepare update the microphone yes like that lovely 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 Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and today, today, let's talk what's new with the upcoming INAV 3.1. Okay, so that was the opening line for the video. And, and now, uh, we... The INAV team released the INAV 3.0 in June 2020. Even though we were working on the 3.0 release, we already had some code uh, almost ready for the next release. And now, two to three months later, we really have a very nice and long list of the pretty cool improvements that we already know that will go into the INAV 3.1. Uh, this is not the video when I will be uh, telling you exactly what uh, what's changing and what will be changing because it's still work in progress. However, some of the things were already merged and we for sure know that they will be part of the upcoming uh, INAF 3.1, which most probably we will be trying to release somewhere in the November of the 2021. I have listed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9, 10, 11 most important features that we have prepared and ready up to this moment, up to the August 2021, and those are... I'm not sure how many how many of you were using the presets uh, feature in the INAV configurator. You know, you go into the INAV configurator and during the setup you go into presets tab, you set up, select the preset, hit apply and you go flying. The original idea behind the preset was that the community will be kind of like sharing their setups with the, with the rest of the community and people will be proposing their own uh, setups to the to the configurator to be part of the configurator this unfortunately never really happened and uh, i don't recall anyone outside of the INAV developers or me to be more precise ever prepared any preset uh, by themselves at least once or twice i got like uh, some of the settings from someone for very specific aircraft and i converted this and now i think four to maybe even five years later it's time to say goodbyes to the presets um, they are a burden to maintain they are outdated and uh, most probably not really needed because defaults are good enough and because now you have the defaults dialog when you pre when you select if this is the multi rotor or the airplane this kind of is an op obsolete over complicated technology this is why it's gone from the next release of the INAV and all we will be left with will be the standard defaults dialog if the community would like to be have the place when they can share their settings the community have to kind of figure out the way, but those will not be INAV configurator preset. Next, uh, something that the Betaflight is preparing for, still preparing for the Betaflight 4.3, those are PT2 and PT3 filter types. Uh, not the big ones, uh, the extension of the PT1, uh, which uh, are, have the better attenuation than the standard PT1. Uh, but do not have some of the bad features of the BQuad filter, which can oscillate and uh, have some negative aspects. Uh, so we have PT2 and PT3. This is the port from the beta flight. And for the 3.1, for example, the D-term filter uh, will be replaced with the PT3. And the secondary D-term filter will be set to zero because PT2 is two PT1 filters. So it will be simpler to work with and potentially will get, get the better uh, tuning experience to or the pilot of the other item. This is good stuff and uh, I'm pretty, pretty happy of how this thing is working. I'm flying with those uh, new filters for a few months already. And uh, this, is, this is really a nice stuff, especially for the multi-rotor pilots. Uh, secondary emo, uh, something what uh, was available without actually any kind of the information to the community on the INAF 3.0, but with the INAF 3.1 it will be more obvious that the INAF can work with additional secondary inertial measurement unit that you can use to aid some of the, let's say, play features of the INAF. Uh, the INAF will still use the main gyroscope and accelerometer 
to for the position estimator or for example for the flight stabilization however you have the possibility to connect external uh, secondary emu like for example Bosch BNO 055. I'm also working on the BNO 080, not decided if this will go into the next release or something else. I'm also planning to work and, for example, use this as the source for the artificial horizon. And the results are quite interesting because the, for example, the BNO 055 uh, has much less of the artificial horizon drift than the INAV standard. Uh, method of computing stuff not perfect but much better uh, and for example the heading is uh, correctly computed even on the relatively high uh, tilts uh, of the whole system which improves and quite a lot improves the flight performance on the automated modes this those are still highly experimental features uh, but if anybody would like to experiment with putting extra board on their on their multi-rotor or or an airplane that's not really that important like i for example have on my source one here in the back i have oh, no, now you can see it here in the back i have a bno 055 that i bought for five no eight dollars few months ago and now it's like 40 dollars uh they can try because i think it's a uh, just nice nice thing next uh, a lot of cleanups in the code especially on the topics of the uh, obsolete drivers we got rid of the shitty range finders we got rid of some of the elements of the code that nobody really uses like for example what was that some ancient uh, drivers for the accelerometers nobody ever uses like why why keep it so this is gone and also some other things are just gone from the code nobody will probably even notice that those things are no longer part of the INAV base because modern hardware is just not using this uh, these things at all next uh, yeti telemetry yeti is the radio system that many people like uh, especially on the more expensive uh, flying thingies and uh, up until now the INAF was not really working very good with Yeti especially with the telemetry the radio link was working while the telemetry was not working with the INAF 3.1 this will change and the full-blown Yeti telemetry will be a thing you will be able to have the full telemetry downlink to your red Yeti radio uh, from INAV exactly like for example it's working with the beta flight and other flight controllers and I know that there were at least a few people in the wild that were actually wanting to have this feature on so this is this is uh, a good thing next is the second no the third or the fourth generation of the improvements to the INAV configurator mission planner uh, this time the guy that did the overhaul of the mission planner last time added for example the elevation profile now the configurator more or less knows what's the elevation of the, each of the points and can tell you how much above the ground you will be when flying um, this is like if you are up to interesting things that and doing some more of the autonomous flights this is something quite interesting and uh, uh, I I do want to record a separate video on this thing because it's really very very nice super professional feature that brings the INAF one step closer to being a viable solution for the professional uh, INAF usage so pretty cool pretty cool stuff next um, who oh, there will be a change in the detail management uh, on the multi rotors um, after the Falco X uh, flight one source code leaked for the moment but let's not go back to that uh, some elements of how flight one is doing stuff kind of leaked I I never saw the code but I and everybody everybody else who wanted to uh, figured out how the sim mode is working um, so the new deboost on INAF is not a sim mode this is very important the implementation is completely different the idea is completely different uh, but what the new deboost is is that it's no longer only scaling the D gains up 
to soften the transition to make everything uh, that to slower the acceleration but it also can make the quad response much more aggressive especially when you want to do a very fast roll you kinda do not really want to have a lot of the D-term because you do want to accelerate super fast to the fast roll and only then you can uh, you want to have some of the D-term to smooth out the braking of the on the final phase. This is what the new D-Boost in INAV will be doing. It will be dynamically scaling the gains on the D-term. Uh, let's call it the D-term scheduler based on what you want to do and what INAF thinks is currently happening in the in the year. Um, I made this code available to a few person and the general response that the control of the INAF quad is now, yeah, I know, more locked in because everything is more direct during the flight and I do like how this is working. Next, uh, much improved support for the DJI Digital OSD. Uh, the INAF 3.1 configurator will detect that you have the DJI OSD and uh, display you only elements that uh, are compatible. Uh, you will be able to configure only those elements and also the craft name override will have much more functions and will automatically cycle over more of the elements. It's a nice improvement for all the users of the DJI OSD because uh, you will not feel that you are like, like years behind everybody else. Oh, uh, Next, Rate Dynamics, uh, a port of the Emuflight Rate Dynamics, the stuff that modifies how your rates, how your stick feel in the air also will appear as the experimental features. Uh, probably the uh, cinematic flight uh, lovers will like what the rate dynamics uh, give to them. And something for the programming geeks, uh, we also did the compilator, uh, compiler uh, update to the latest, no, not the latest, the second to latest version of the GCC, which should produce the better code and be more compatible with the current situation. That's the reality. What else will come? We don't know yet because we still have at least few months of the work in progress. And uh, I love the fact that uh, almost indep independent developers are uh, joining kind of projects, proposing pull requests. Huge kudos for that, everyone. And uh, I do have a feeling that the next release will be kind of nice one. Definite. 